We're going to master top language and vocabulary for the IELTS speaking topic cue card of health. My name's David, IELTS speaking mentor and course creator of IELTS speaking 7 plus. Do check the link in the video description for the full course. We'll see two cue cards for the topic of health and I'll give you top answers with excellent vocabulary, phrases and language. Let's go. Describe a time you were ill. You should say what it was, when it happened, how you made yourself feel better. Also describe how you feel about it. I suppose I'm quite a lucky person as I don't often get very sick or ill. I often go for a health check with my local doctor at the hospital. He always says I'm as fit as a fiddle. If I think back to my teens, I did get really sick once. I caught something called glandular fever. I've never been so ill in my entire life. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I had a huge fever and couldn't eat a thing. The only bonus of that was that I managed to lose some weight. Maybe I should try being sick again. Along with the fever, I had a lot of muscle aches and strains. It left me quite immobile for around two weeks. It happened just before my high school exams, which was really inconvenient. I still managed to pass my exams though. I don't think there was any medicine or antibiotics. I'm pretty sure I had to wait until it ran its course. It's not exactly a fond memory and something I don't usually think about. I wouldn't wish glandular fever on anybody. I hope I don't ever get that sick again, but like I said, losing some weight would be useful. That was a brilliant answer with some awesome language. Let's focus on some key vocabulary and phrases from that answer. First up is health check. This is a common collocation that native English speakers use. Remember, a collocation are two words that are often paired together. Sometimes people go to the hospital just for a health check. They may do this once or twice a year. And next up is immobile. This is quite an advanced piece of vocabulary and it can be used to talk about health and fitness. If you were so sick you couldn't move, you can use this word. The last phrase that I want to share with you is run its course. We use this phrase to describe something that is naturally allowed to end without any interference. Now it's time to move on to our next IELTS speaking cue card. Let's see it now. Describe an activity you do to stay healthy. You should say what the activity is, how often you do it, where you do this activity. Also describe how it makes you feel. Actually, I describe myself as a reasonably active person. I'm definitely not a couch potato. I used to play a lot of sports when I was a child, but these days I have to try and find extra time to do them. Work and family have to come first. My favourite exercise I do to stay fit is probably yoga. At first I wasn't sure I would like it. I didn't think it would be very challenging as it seemed to just be stretching. After my first session I completely changed my mind. It was awful. I don't think I could move for the next few days. I was that tired. Since then, I've been trying to go at least twice a week. It's definitely kept me in shape through my late 20s. Apart from keeping fit, it helps to clear my mind and focus my thinking. I'm not sure it's the same as meditation, but I guess it's kind of close. There's a weekly meetup on Saturdays in my local community centre. I believe all people should try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. It's important we look after ourselves both physically and mentally. I've definitely grown to love yoga. It's one of my favourite things to do. 
Let's now focus on key phrases in our speaking spotlight. And first up, couch potato. Now, this phrase is an idiomatic expression to describe someone who is lazy. If you know someone who doesn't like exercise and maybe watches a lot of TV, you can call them a couch potato. Keeping fit is a very native expression which can be used to talk about exercise and looking after your body. If you like to exercise, you could also say you like to keep in shape. The next expression that I'd like to teach you is grown to love. You can use this when you're talking about something that you really enjoy, but at first you weren't sure if you would like it. It shows that your feelings have changed from negative to positive. That's all for this video. If you want more resources, check out this channel or the full course IELTS Speaking 7 Plus. There's a link in the video description below. Like, share and subscribe to this channel and I will see you soon.